The Department of Health and Human Services has canceled a contract with Moderna to develop a bird flu vaccine for humans. Health Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a vaccine skeptic. So far, and the only people to come down with bird flu got it from animals. Dr. John LaPook tells us research is underway to keep the flu from mutating into a form that could spread person to person. We went to a dairy farm in rural Pennsylvania to see how microbiologist Scott Hensley and his University of Pennsylvania team are trying to stay a step ahead of bird flu. A scenario may play out where the risk is very low, very low, and boom, all of a sudden we have a pandemic. Bird flu has torn across dairy farms across the country, infecting 70 humans so far. While there's no evidence it is spreading person to person, that could change as the virus circulates and mutates. And if that mutation would arise, then we fear the virus might be able to transmit human to human. Through the air? Through the air, yeah, that's the fear. Hensley says slowing the spread of bird flu in cows could help lower the odds of that kind of pandemic-causing mutation. So they designed an experimental messenger RNA vaccine, vaccinated two cows, and waited to see if it created an immune response. We were in the lab with Hensley to see if samples from the vaccinated cows contained antibodies against bird flu. If they did, these wells would turn blue. Yeah, so you can see the blue in these wells here. So there's antibody in the milk. So that means the vaccine worked. So it worked. It worked. The next step was to ship the vaccinated cows to a biosecure USDA facility in Ames, Iowa, where they were intentionally exposed to bird flu. Aside from a brief mild drop in milk production, cows receiving the vaccine stayed healthy. In contrast, the unvaccinated cows produced 75 percent less milk than usual, developed fever, and were less active. If we don't develop a vaccine pathway in animals, every year we'll be trying to stamp out the virus. Dr. Andrew Hoffman is dean of the University of Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine. Maybe there won't be a need for the vaccine. But um, the point of vaccine development isn't to wait until you absolutely need it right now with your hair on fire. The point is to have that ready to go. And we want to be ready to go. So, Dr. LaPoop, can they use that vaccine on people if necessary? You know, I just spoke a few minutes ago to Scott Hensley, who's the researcher who headed up this research, and he said, if this vaccine works in cows, a vaccine that's essentially the same could also be tried in humans. To be clear, that's not what he and his team are doing. And it's not the normal way of going and doing things. Dean Hoffman said you don't want to wait till your hair's on fire to come up with a vaccine. So how does that square with this decision made today? Well, we reached out to HHS and they said they had real safety considerations and concerns about the whole messenger RNA technology used to make the vaccine. Now, remember that this is the same technology that during the pandemic is estimated to have saved hundreds of thousands of lives in the United States and millions across the world. Now, it's very important to be concerned about safety, but I would think this is a perfect opportunity for this open transparency. Don't just say, you know, here's what we're going to do. I think a lot of us, me included, uh, are interested in saying, what's the thinking behind that? Who had input? What were the pros? What were the cons? Do a deep dive. We, we, we can understand it. We, we want to hear the details, not just say, here's what we've decided. Yeah, show your work. Dr. LaPook, thank you.